Hello, my name is Felix and in this video tutorial today we will go through the installation of the multi-platform probe and all the steps that we show here you can find as well in the manual that will be available for the multi-platform probe with your PRDG installation. The first step in the installation process will be the installation of the NUT server. The NUT server is an application that acts as a messaging system between the PRDG core server and the multi-platform probe. Both components connect to the NUT server and exchange messages. We will install the NUT server on the core server as well and let's start guide you through the installation process. First you find all the steps in the manual for the multi-platform probe and down in the manual there is a download link to get the NUTS installer for your core server. And that's a standard MSI installer, so nothing too fancy. We will just quickly glance over it. You can choose the location where you want to install the NAT server. Usually the defaults are fine. And then we will be asked about NAT's credentials. We will need to enter values for the username and the password that will be used to authenticate against the NAT server. The values you enter here, please note them down. We will need them later on for the installation of the PDG core server and for configuration of the multi-platform probe to connect to NATS. Also the password will only be shown here and it will be stored encrypted in the configuration file of the NAT server. So if you forget it here, there's no way to get it and we need to reinstall again. <laughs> Let's just choose some demo here. Also in the installer we need to provide TLS certificates for the encrypted connection between the components. Um, I prepared already some certificates for you and let's just quickly choose them. So I choose the server certificate, the public key and now the private key and then we can proceed with the installation. Just click next, confirm that we want to install and we are good to go. After the installation of the NUT server, we will proceed with configuring the NUT's connection of the PRDG core. First, we need to navigate to the setup page, of course and probe, and then find the multi-platform probe connection settings. There we will enable allow multi-platform probe connections, keep the TLS, connection security as we chosen in the installation of the NUTS installer and then enter the details we entered in the NUTS installer as well. In our case we use a specific certificate because we have self-signed TLS certificates. You can choose whatever fits in your infrastructure best and then click on save. We will be prompted for a core server restart and click on restart and let PRDG restart. After the core server restart, we need to create an access key that we will use for the multi-platform probe to authenticate against the PRDG core server. And for simplicity sake, we will generate a, a UID using PowerShell You can use the new GUID command for this. It will print out some UID that we can just copy and paste. Set it already in the web interface and note it down for the next step, the installation of the multi-platform probe. The last step in the configuration of the PRDG core server is we can verify the connection from the core server to the NUT server by checking the status of the new multi-platform probe connection health sensor. And you find it in the device tree as an autonomous sensor on the, the PRDG core server group. It will display if it is connected to NUTs or if there is any issue with your configuration. If there is a misconfiguration, you will see a message informing you about the error 
that occurred while connecting to the NAT server. And in the next step, we choose our uh, access key and go over to installing the multi-platform probe on a Linux system. After we configured the multi-platform probe connection settings on the PLTG core server, we will now proceed installing the multi-platform probe on a Linux system. Starting with multi-platform probe 1.0, we can install the multi-platform probe directly from a Linux package repository that is hosted by us. And I will show you how to set it up on your Linux system and then we will proceed installing the multi-platform probe and configuring it. The first step is accessing our Linux package repository. It is hosted at packages.passler.com and you will find a document on how to set up the Linux repository on your system in the docs folder of this repository. In this document, we describe how to set up the repository on the Linux system. It consists of two steps. First, downloading and installing the GPG key on your local keyring, and then installing the sources list so your package manager can retrieve the multi-platform probe package. By using this repository, you also have the ability to do automatic updates if we publish new versions, and you can set this up on a lot of systems and have a unified way of installing the multi-platform probe on your Linux systems. In this tutorial, we focus only on Debian. The steps also work for Ubuntu and the supported distributions are listed in the document as well. Those steps will be also available in the multi-platform probe manual for your reference with a bit more detail on how to set it up and some other additional information. So the first step is to fetch the GPG key and install it in our local keyring on the Linux system. I you copied the command from the document. It's just pasting it here. We need to execute it with super user permissions to write in a restricted folder and just enter the command, download the keyring, and then it is installed. After we install the repository key into our local keyring, we will now proceed with setting up the sources list so our package manager knows where to retrieve the multi-platform probe package. For this, I copy the command listed in this text document, put it into my shell on the system I am going to install the multi-platform probe, and I need to prepend this with superuser in our case. And then I can do a repository index upgrade, sudo apt update. It fetches the repository index also now for our repository, as you see here listed in get packagespasl.com. And after this succeeded, I can proceed installing the multi-platform probe. This will now start the interactive installer and we will now look at how to configure the multi-platform probe in the next step. In the package configuration wizard, we will now enter the access key for the multi-platform probe that we created previously in the setup step for the core server to connect to the NUT server. And also we need the NUT connection details that we defined while installing the NUT server. So first, I enter the access key that I created previously, confirm. Then I need to enter the NAT server host name. In our case, it is localhost because for this tutorial, everything runs on the same system. In your case, it is very likely the PewDG core server where you installed your NAT server as well. We leave the same default port for the user and password you choose our demo user and password. And for the CI certificate, we get asked, because in our case, we use the self-signed certificate while installing the NAT server. It is described in the manual how to set up if you have a self-signed certificate also for the multi-platform probe. And if you don't have self-signed or have the certificate authority installed on the Linux system already, you can just choose System Trust Store. In our case, we choose the demo CA cert we created for the NAT server. And then the installation is done. We can check if it was successful by looking at the service status.
and we will see the service is running. The log output looks good. So let's check again in our core server so we can approve the new multi-platform probe. And there you already see the toast down here to approve the multi-platform probe. But you can also in the device tree access the same functionality should you have closed the toast. Then we click on approve. Wait a short minute and our multi-platform probe should be connected and the default sensors probe health and system health show green status. After the installation succeeded and the probe is displayed in the device tree, all the sensors are green. We can proceed adding new sensors on the multi-platform probe. At the moment, most of the sensors on the multi-platform probe are in beta state because they are fairly new. So we first need to enable beta sensors in our PRDG server. Go to setup, monitoring, and find experimental features, and there enable the beta sensors setting. If we don't enable this, you only will see kind of three sensors on the multi-platform probe. After we enabled and saved, go back to the multi-platform probe, choose add a sensor, and now we can add some sensor like the local folder sensor for instance. Enter a file path that actually exists on Linux. Create the sensor. And check it. See that it's green. Everything works. Now we have our multi-platform probe connected to PRDG and ready to be used. I hope the tutorial was helpful. If so, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And if you need further assistance, you can contact our technical support. Below the video, you will find additional information. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Have a great night. See you next time.